In the fight for the best document management solution, who wins? Liferay or Alfresco? Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. This video is the third in a series on document management with Liferay. Today we will wrap up what we have seen in the first two videos. First a disclaimer. These videos are intended to give you a starting point for your own investigations. By no means are we able to cover this complex topic in any depth here. Let's see what we have so far. First the points pro life ray. You need a portal anyway. LifeRay has a small resource footprint compared to Alfresco. And you don't need to worry about integrating yet another system in terms of user rights for viewing and editing documents. What are the points pro Alfresco? Alfresco is a proper document management system and best of breed in the open source market. Alfresco handles document checkout and check-in, while LifeRay doesn't. Another thing I wanted to show you is faceted search in Alfresco. So, for example, if we put in the search term metadata, then we get four results here. And on the left-hand side, you can now filter for various aspects and this is faceted search so for example if you say okay um, I know that the document I was looking for was a PDF document you just click on PDF type file type PDF and then you get only two results and so you can if you have lots of documents you can gradually refine your search now to decide you need to first collect your requirements and then thoroughly study the question. It all really depends on your overall application landscape. For example, every other project in your organization that's not LifeRay based and needs a document management system will be an argument for a common document management system based on Alfresco. If you want to go on from here, you might take a look at a book by Sebastian Wenski on Alfresco and Liferay. This book is in German and was published in 2013, but it contains very useful and language independent overviews comparing the functional and administrative aspects of the two platforms. I'll put a link to this book in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you have some experience or any other material on the comparison of the two systems. Stay tuned if you want to know about integrating Alfresco into LifeRay with CMIS.